Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you what I just bought. This is Wet n Wild it's Color Icon Bronzer. I just got this from Target. And I got home and I took it out the bag. And at first it was fine. And then all of a sudden I'm taking everything else off the bag. And I see brown glitter all over my bed. And it's completely shattered. I just bought this so the fact that it's completely shattered is pissing me off so you're gonna need a couple of items and i'm gonna show you guys how to fix it the first item you need is this this is just a a, a little <laughs> cleansing pad you can call it a cleansing pad it is a cotton round a little cotton round and then i have the little uh sponge little sponge for your face I have a baby spoon you can use any type of spoon for this but I have a baby spoon just because the kids barely ever eat off the baby spoon and then I have a bobby pin and then of course you're gonna need alcohol so the first thing I'm gonna do the bobby pin is like an extra chip that I'm using but I just want to clear out the sides to make sure none is like spilling out for the most part so I'm just getting all the, the product off the side alright and then what we're gonna do you have kinda just wanna move everything around with this spoon I'm just pushing everything down because what I'm about to do next is going to be like really tedious. So I'm just trying to make sure everything's situated. Then you're going to take your alcohol. It's just regular rubbing alcohol. And you're going to pour. <laughs> just pour until it kind of covers it up and then soaks it in. You guys see that it's soaked in now. And now this is like clay. So you're just going to rub it in and smooth it out. And just smooth it out until you're reshaping it now. So I'm going to reshape mine, then I'll come back. Now this is what a little bit of mine looks like. I'm still trying to smooth it out just because it's like really hard. So I'm going to go back. And on the corners with the bobby pin after I'm done smoothing it out just to get all of the product off of there so like you see right now it looks like clay and you're just gonna take the back of your spoon just to smooth it out and keep smoothing out until it reaches the shape that you desire now that mine is smoothed out to the shape that I desired um, this stuff can get really messy guys so what I did towards the end I just made sure that I just kind of softly did this all around the edges with the spoon to just smooth the product out because this stuff can get now this process isn't gonna be absolutely perfect you just want to fix it so it's able to use so you smooth it out some more with the brush and you guys can see the powder is starting to flake that means the product is actually drying so you want to move fast when you're doing this and you kind of add a little texture to it <laughs> and mine is still really wet but I'm just doing this because I'm kind of trying to shift the product around a little bit so it stays flat you guys can see it kind of moves like jello <laughs> next what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sponge just kind of dab this and you're not doing it to smooth it out it actually does smooth it out but you're doing this just to try and relieve some of the moisture out of the product so it'll dry now as far as drying you have one of two ways to do this you can dry by using a blow dryer or 
you can dry by letting it air dry. Now, now, I've already dried a bit of this, uh, but it is still really, really moist. This is like five minutes of drying. It's going to take time to dry. So, instead of actually drying it with the blow dryer, because I kind of feel like it's making it worse because it's such high heat, I'm going to actually let this air dry. And then I'll come back to you tomorrow on what this looks like. And clean up your station, guys. This is a really, really, really messy process, but you don't have to be a messy marv. You can easily take a makeup wipe. Wipe off the spoon, wipe off your table, wipe off your brush. And the great things about stuff like these is they can be easily disposable and thrown away. And after sitting overnight, guys, you see that it is now back into a powder form. So now it is easy to apply. And you have your old bronzer or eye makeup or powder. You have it back all with a few steps in a little bit of time. Stay tuned for more videos and I hope you like this one. Bye guys.